on today's show. What are the three most surprising things about writing a novel? I now have worked with several hundred novelists, first-time novelists, and in fact, my own first novel I started uh, in early 2021. What are the three big things that surprised me the most? Number one, that is how important it is to find flaws in a character and really make sure that we sort of see them trying to overcome it. That's the big one to start with, is who is that character and what's wrong with them? What flaws do they have? And we as readers love to celebrate the trying um, over it. That's the first most important thing. The second thing is that most times novelists will tell you they don't have the full story mapped out, but what most novelists will tell you is they start with what's called the moments that matter, those six to eight key moments they can already see in their head. Think of these as the columns that are gonna support the whole entire book. Don't try to write the whole thing and don't even try to sketch out the whole thing. Just see what you can see in your head and write those key moments that matter and let them form the arc of the book. And lastly, you don't need to figure out the story in order to write the story. Instead, you write the story to figure it out. And that's why I would tell you starting with these moments that matter is important. Many times people feel stuck because they don't see the whole thing yet. And instead, focus on what you do see, those key moments, and build from there. Key moments and key characters are really the key. I had the opportunity to interview Carolyn Kepnes, and you may know her as the author behind the incredibly popular book series and now Netflix series, You. You profiles a really kind of tortured character, Joe, who's a serial killer that we as readers really get to know and love. And what's interesting about listening to Caroline's approach as a writer and as an author is that she started understanding Joe, how he talked, what he cared about, what were his flaws, and started to stitch these moments together that became the entire book, figuring it out as she went. She's an incredible dialogist and understands like what is that character seeing and experiencing along the way. But characters, and particularly character-driven stories, may not go the route you want, and so start with those key things here, develop them going through their flaw, trying through it, and see if you can learn along the way. Remember, never write alone. Start with the characters and talk about it. See how you can have these conversations. Great writers will tell you the same thing. They think of these key moments, they learn about those ones, share those, and then learn from other people, whether it's an editor, a writing partner, or a writing group. But the most important thing is as you're developing the story, don't keep it locked in your head. Write it, share it, and iterate your way to what becomes a great story. There was a bunch of things that surprised me about writing my first novel and surprised many novelists, but the big ones are remember, don't start writing from a blank page. Figure out your character and their flaws, try to understand what are those key moments and start there, and don't worry, you don't have to have it all figured out to write. In fact, writing will help you figure out as you, as you go. And remember, never write alone. Get other people involved and that will make your writing epic, more fun, and frankly, lead to some great work. Thank you.